OpenAI has released a new ChatGPT version, which is called ChatGPT 4.0, and O stands for Omni. And in this series, I'll cover the most important features of this new release. So I can tell you there are some things you should be excited about, especially if you're a Mac user. Let's dive in. Like I said, this version is called ChatGPT 4.0, which stands for Omni, and it has some performance improvements, it can give you live feedback on images, video, and audio. So it's quite cool. They added support for many more languages, like 50 languages right now. And I think the three most important things are this. Let's start with the first one. The first one is that the ChatGPT free version will be improved. So in ChatGPT free, users will now have access to features such as experience ChatGPT 4 level intelligence. So they upgraded it from ChatGPT 3.5 to GPT 4. You'll be able to get responses from both model and the web. So this was not possible before. You can create charts based on the data you want to analyze. You can chat about photos that you take. You can upload files for assistance summarizing, writing or analyzing. Discover and use GPTs and the GPT store. Build a more helpful experience with memory. Okay, so there will be a limit on the number of messages that free users can send with ChatGPT 4.0 depending on usage and demand. When the limit is reached, ChatGPT will automatically switch to ChatGPT 3.5 so users can continue their conversations which is pretty cool the second one and for me this is the biggest one actually the most important one is the desktop application there was already a phone app at least for iphone users but now getting this on the desktop it's quite important and i'm i will tell you why there are more reasons for that but for me the most important is the microphone being able to use the microphone instead of typing i can just chat to ChatGPT exactly like to a friend and i it's going to be so much easier to give instructions and have conversations and go through what you want to achieve much quicker, right? This is the most important for me. At the same time, you can run it offline. This is not such a big thing for me because yeah, not very often I'm disconnected from internet and I don't need it, but sometimes this could be a good feature, especially if you're traveling or something like that, this could be very, very uh, good actually. So they say that also the security has improved a lot. In desktop application you'll be able to see this like a simplified way it's not so cluttered it's quite simple and yeah and like i said the microphone right so let me show you how that works like this for me this is the most important feature and on top of this yeah you have this attachment picture where you can choose this but yeah you can also attach drag and drop how this works is that you need to click on this microphone right here and you give instruction to ChatGPT. Hey ChatGPT, tell me what are the latest upgrades on ChatGPT 4.0? And then you need to stop this by pressing on this button and then you press on this button right here and you send the message. That's how it works, right? Maybe sometimes you cannot speak, but when you can speak, I think this can make a big difference for content creators or whoever is using ChatGPT for anything. So yeah, unfortunately, at least for the time being, as far as I know, this is an app that's working only for Mac users. It's not working on Windows or on Linux. That would be it for now. Happy ChatGPT!